Welcome to Littleton Common. I'm Bob Spinozzi. And I'm Barbara McRae. Thank you for joining us today. So, are we there yet, Bob? Honestly, what is out there? Spring, summer, winter, or fall? Nothing I can name. I still have winter clothes in the closet, but I'm slowly working on summer things. Short sleeves, long sleeves, hard to decide. I don't think the meteorologists know for sure. But I'm spending some time in California, and I'm going to visit my nieces. So let's see what the weather is like there. But anyway, back to Littleton. Back to Littleton. That's right, because at the end of May, Littleton welcomed Nina Nazarian to be our new town administrator. Prior to her work in Princeton as their town administrator, she was the project manager for the Tewksbury Department of Public Works, and she also was the town's acting engineer. Nina has a degree in public administration from Suffolk University and a BA degree from UMass Lowell. So we all welcome her to Littleton. Yes, that's a, really, that is a, a great thing now that she's here. Yeah. So we had town meeting on May 7th, and I want to say a big thank you to all who helped our seniors gain the step up to begin plans for a true senior center. It's been a long time but perhaps we can start looking forward to having a larger place with many programs and seniors to come and enjoy what is there for them and possibly in our lifetime. Now, right now, Barbara, there's some programs that we can look forward to this month. One important part of staying healthy and fit is movement and pickleball can help. If you don't know what, what it is, drop by the Shattuck Street Tennis Court on Friday morning between 10 and 12 to see how it's played. See if it's for you. And you know what? It's free. So sign up at the COA office by calling 978-540-2470. Now another way to get exercise is by playing ping pong. Park and Rec has graciously loaned the COA the use of room 123 every Wednesday and Friday from 10 a.m. to noon. So call the COA office for more information on that. Littleton Conservation Trust is inviting residents to the annual Bird Nest Buck Walk at Long Lake Park. Join Dustin Neald and take a walk with him along the trail that he installed in 2015. Now since then, the tree swallow and bluebird nest bucks have been successful every year. Because it's peak of nesting activity, You'll see nests, eggs, hatchlings, and nestlings. You'll get an education about nest box sites, installation, monitoring, and management techniques. Now, no dogs, please. But bring, do bring binoculars and or camera, water, snacks, and don't forget the bug spray. No registration is necessary. If you have any questions, go to littletonconservationtrust.org. Now, kayakers, mark your calendars for June 6th because the primetime paddlers are starting their eighth season of kayaking. This very active group meets once a week on Thursday from 1 to 3 p.m. and always paddle as a group. Make sure your list has everything ready to go for the 6th. Now, you want to include life jacket, hat, sunblock, water, and cell phone, and paddle. You know, you need to... You'll need your own kayak and a way to get to the lake. So call the COA office or email jak601 at verizon.net. So get ready for an active summer. If you like crafts, you're going to enjoy June. Now, there won't be a monthly craft group during June, July, or August because these classes will resume in September. And they'll do loop knitting of a scarf, and that'll be the first class. But meantime, the COA has lined up a flower arrangement class and a Schworsky crystal bracelet making class. On June 13th, there will be fresh flower arranging, and it's instructed by Ed Warchel. 
a longtime resident who has been in the floral industry for many years and is a graduate of the Henry Simmons Floral Design School in Boston. Ed is currently a floral designer for Cataldo's Gift and Garden Center in Littleton. This class is limited to 12. The cost is $15 per person. And reservations are limited to Littleton residents. Please bring your own scissors for flower cutting and the COA office is taking reservations. On June 25th, instructor Donna Gonzalez will lead a class on bracelet making. You will make your own piece of fine jewelry by using Sforsky crystals, stones and sterling silver findings. So cost for this class is $25 and is limited to 10. And again, go to the COA office and sign up. You know, the, class, the craft classes are filling up. It looks as though when we thought no one was doing them anymore, we find that is not true. I think they just slowed down for a while. And we all still enjoy creating something. It's a great way to keep using hand and mind coordination. So sign up and take home something handmade by you. You are invited to an end of the year concert by the Shaker Lane Kindergarten class. They will entertain you with some of their favorite songs learned this year. The concert will be on Monday, June 17th at 11 a.m. to 11.20 in the Shaker Lane cafeteria. They're so, so fun to see and watch them perform. You know, there is always music in the air at Indian Hill. If you haven't been to a concert or haven't been to Indian Hill, you have missed something special. Check out what they have on IndianHillMusic.org for more information. Now here's something that you might find of interest. David Courier's Drum Circle. Drum Circles promote socialization and ensures a healthy, non-strenuous workout. Research has shown that recreational music making can reduce stress improve moods, enhance creativity, and improve cognition. On a deeper level, it builds camaraderie and the respect of others and has been used in counseling sessions, support groups, and rehabilitation, including therapy for those suffering from dementia. You know what? We need some of those drums here. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> or at home, who cares? <laughs> Again, I guess they have to sign up at the COA. Make sure that number is someplace where you can see it, because you have to call there an awful lot of times. But let's talk about donuts. Mm. Friday, June 7th is National Donut Day, and Donlin Supermarket will sponsor Donut Day by supplying them for us and for coffee and donut drop in the, at the hour uh, at the uh, the Council on Aging, and that's in room 230, 9 a.m. to 10. Again, that's June 7th, 9 a.m. to 10, and just drop in for donuts and coffee. On Wednesday, June 12th, the Littleton Community Farm is offering an overview of the farm, what they do, and how they are helping the Littleton community. You will learn what is going into running the farm and how they are responsible for your lunch on Thursdays at the Senior Diner. This overview will be held at 1030 on the first floor at the Shattuck Street Townhouse in room 103. Sign up and guess what number? 540-2470. Panera Bread is brought into the Senior Diner by volunteers on Thursday mornings. And why don't you try our diner for your lunch Monday through Friday for a healthy meal with friends. Gail Dalton and her volunteers are there to welcome you. But check your senior broadcaster for the weekly menus. And then on Friday, stave for Binger. This month, the ladies' breakfast is on June 13th at 7.30 a.m. The men's breakfast in June is at the 19th at 7.30 a.m. And the veterans' breakfast will be on Wednesday, June 26th at 7.30 a.m. You know, it's a great time to meet the guys and gals and enjoy a meal of bacon, eggs, sausages, pancakes, home fries, and toast for only three 
dollars. And changing the subject, the movie of the month for June is called The Upside. The Upside is based on a true story, kind of. The new movie follows ex-con Del Scott, who becomes the auxiliary for a depressed paraplegic Philip Lacasse. As is typical in this sort of film, the pair learns a lot from the other they never knew, finding a new lease on life in the process. Join host Nancy Friday at the movie on Thursday, June 27th, 1 p.m. in room 230. I went to the Memorial Day Parade, May 27th, and enjoyed seeing our vets in uniform. I was happy to have my picture taken with one handsome soldier. I wonder who? <laughs> <laughs> Our LCTV staff is out taking videos of the ceremony and the parade. And thank you to Mark and Nicole. The staff is busy taping programs, town boards, town meeting, school activities, and sports. We hope you tune in once in a while and see what is happening in Littleton. Hard at work and a huge thank you to Kirby Dolak, Judy Reed, Nancy Hilsinger, and Mark Rory who keep the studio the success it is. We here at L Littleton Community Television Studio will welcome visitors to our open house on June 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. Come in and see how it all works to get information and an interest in what we do. Helping people is what Habitat for Humanity does. And on Thursday, June 27th at 10 a.m., there will be a critical care programming information on keeping yourself and your home safe for years to come. Do you have a leaky roof? Gutters that took a beating over the winter? Or maybe a loved one in need of a wheelchair ramp to make your home more accessible? This Habitat for Humanity repair program can help with these modifications and more. So learn how they can help and how you can help, how you can apply. Call the COA office at 978-540-2470 to sign up for that. The Friends Thrift Shop helps our seniors by programs by selling what we have there that is delivered every day. We accept donations of men's, women's, and children's clothing and small housewares, and then they are sold and the funds are put in the Friends of the COA's account to be used for requests from the COA director, outreach coordinator, and programs hosted by the Friends. Sandra Casal and myself will be hosting a fashion show on June 27th with our thrift shop clothing. This show gives us the chance to show off the merchandise we have on our racks. Join us on June 27th at two o'clock in the multi-purpose room, first floor, Shattuck Street Townhouse. You will like what we have from shoes to hats and all that in between. There will be no internet classes with Bill Vales June, July, and August, and classes will begin again in September, so watch for dates in the future broadcaster. Have you been to Third Thursday events in the past? Activities will be at Fay Park on June 20th from 5 to 8 p.m. Many local businesses and vendors will be showing their works of art, their photos, health programs, and classes and merchandise. Park and Rec hosts these third Thursday events and hopes you will join them each month to support this event. And maybe we'll see you there. Bev Rigoli, a Littleton resident and artist, is looking for artists who are interested in being in an art show. The date is June 19th and the place is the DCU building on King Street. If you would like to show and sell your work or just be in the show, contact Bev at the number shown on the screen. Now, for your health. Tick season has already started and will be with us for the next several months. So be careful. Think about ticks when you're outdoors. Protect yourself by using tick repellent. Also check yourself, your children, and your pets. Now, later in June, we'll have a segment on healthy living with Emerson Hospital, and we'll talk about ticks, Lyme disease, and how to protect ourselves. So look for us on LCTV Cable Access TV or on YouTube and the LCTV On Demand site. 
Well, have a healthy and enjoyable June. And please, don't forget to hug a senior.